it's me Michaela and welcome or welcome back to my channel today I am going to be doing a check-in on my 23 books in 2023 list that I made back last December I will link that video in the cards and down below in case you want to watch that first I'm gonna open up that little page in my iPad notebook and we're gonna check off and see where I'm at I haven't really look at this list since I made it. I've just been reading books and I know in general I put some series on here. I know I put The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo on here. Cook of Kingdom is on the list I know because I wanted to finish that duology and I know I put some classics on here. I don't remember what classics. I know it was Jane Austen but let's just kind of check it out and see where we're at. 23 books I want to read in 2023. Here we go. Here's the list. The first book on here is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. So I do actually own Crooked Kingdom now. I got it for Christmas and I have actually read this book. Let's cross that off the list and feel good about ourselves. I actually made a reading vlog where I reread Six of Crows and then I read Crooked Kingdom in that and I will say I loved it. Any more details you're gonna have to go over there. That is like a spoiler vlog. I have very clear parts where I say it's spoilers so you can watch it spoiler free if you like skip around in it. If you want to know more of my thoughts on Crooked Kingdom you can go there. The second book on my 23 books in 2023 was The Hawthorne Legacy. This is another book that I got for Christmas last year. I have not read this yet. I am in the process of trying to cut down my currently reading series list, so you would think this would be higher up on my priority list. I also have The Final Gambit on this list. That is the third book on my 23 books in 2023 list, and I don't even own that yet. But that is because I own the other two books in the series. <clears throat> Can I talk? Hello. I own the first and the second book, obviously, in paperback, and the third book, The Final Gambit, only came out in paperback, like, literal days ago. So I don't own it yet. I didn't buy it. So I didn't want to read this book until the third book was available in paperback, so then I could just reread the first book, because that's the kind of gal I am. I read it a long time ago now, so I want to reread it and then read the second book and then read the third book without having too much time in between. Plans. The plans are there. The paperback of the third book now exists. I can buy it and then, you know, it's only up to me to actually read the books I buy. I think it was always kind of destined to be a second half of the year thing. I'm just going to pretend like that's the truth and that I didn't think I was going to have like all of these books read by now. The fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh book on my 23 books I want to read in 2023 is All of Era 2 of Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. So that's The Alloy of Law, Shadows of Self, The Bands of Mourning, and The Lost Metal. And I haven't read any of these books. I really thought I was going to be like reading them right away, you know, because I had finished reading Mistborn and I loved it and I was excited to keep going. And I'm planning on buying these books in mass market paperback because I bought the first era of Miss Born in mass market. So I wanted it to match. So I was like, oh, I'll buy these like right away. And by right away, I mean like not right away, but like I'll be more likely to buy them because obviously mass markets are cheaper. And I haven't done that, but I have reasonings for this. Will I be justifying all of my mistakes? Yes, yes, I will be. I haven't bought these mostly because I think at the beginning, of this year at some point I made a video of my currently reading series again I'll link it and I realized that I was reading more series than I wanted to be so I haven't been wanting to start a new one and I consider Era 2 of Mistborn its own series like kind of within a series it's like a, a sub series so I haven't been wanting to start it until I finish up some more series. So really, this was like a big mistake to be putting this on here in the first place. But at the time I made this list, I didn't have that other plan of reading a bunch of the series I'm currently in the middle of in 2023. I kind of was just like, oh yeah, it might be nice to finish a couple, hence the books on the list before now. But then I just like put on 
new series because at the time I didn't think um, anything about that. And now I'm regretting it because that's like four books. And let's be honest, Brandon Sanderson is not out here writing tiny books. So they're four big books and I have read none of them yet. Wonderful. I am an overachiever. So I want to achieve my goals, but then I made this a goal and then like forgot about it. <laughs> Oops. So the next three books on the list is also another series and it's the Poppy War Trilogy by R.F. Huang. I own these now. We have the Poppy War, the Dragon Republic, and the Burning God. I have read the first and second book in this series. I got the Poppy War for Christmas slash my birthday. My birthday is really close to Christmas, so uh, sometimes I forget what exactly I got as a gift for which day. But I got this for Christmas and I read it and I loved it. There's a reading blog for this one as well. Check it out. And then last month, yes, last month, I bought and read The Dragon Republic and I also loved this one. It got me out of a reading slump fully and it was amazing that it did that for me. Like I read this book so fast and it's like, I want to say, I think it's almost like 650 pages or something. Like it's a big book and I read it in like days after being in a slump. And then because I finished reading The Dragon Republic, I bought The Burning God in the Indigo by three books get the fourth one free sale because I was planning on buying it anyway and then there was a sale and I love sale so you know we took full advantage of that sale and I'm going to be reading this one very soon it is on my summer TBR that I've made so I'm planning on reading this in August I don't know exactly when in August because I kind of make my seasonal TBRs and I don't put like too many books on them so then I have some freedom to kind of like pick from that TBR what I want to read if I'm not in the mood to read anything on the TBR I still have room to like read something else and then still be able to read everything that's on the TBR it's a balance because I love the plan but if I'm not in the mood for the plan then I hate the plan so I have to plan ahead to like go away from the plan it's a honestly like I'm a mess but what we can do is cross two more books off this list because I have read The Poppy War and I have read The Dragon Republic and soon I will have read The Burning God. This is guaranteed to happen in August. The next three books is another trilogy that I put on here and that is The Greenbone Saga by Fonda Lee and that's Jade City, Jade War, and Jade Legacy. I really want to read these books. I would even be willing to like start a new series and add it to my new series list in order to read these books, but I so want to own them in hardcover and I, for the life of me, cannot find a hardcover of Jade City. Like, are they out of print? Did they just stop making them? What is happening? I tend to like reading adult fantasy in hardcover. We don't ask my brain to explain its reasoning it's, it has made decisions and we just like accept that i like to read mysteries in paperback i like to read romances in paperback i like to read most of my young adult things in paperback but i like to read adult mysteries in hardcover i cannot explain it don't ask me to it's just the way it is but i can't find a hardcover of jade city and that's the first book and i don't really want to buy the paperback of it because i want the hardcover i just have this feeling that i'm gonna love this series so i want to own it and then i also haven't read it like on libby because it's like such a big book and i have also discovered through reading on my libby app that i don't really like reading books that long on my iPad. So it's not as fun of an experience as reading a physical book and I want to own a physical book or the physical book that I want to read. It's a hardcover but I can't find a hardcover so I don't own it so I can't read it because I've decided I want to own it in order to read it because I think I'm going to love it and because I think I'm going to love it I want to own it. And it's just like an endless cycle. And then because I have this endless cycle with Jade City I obviously cannot read Jade War or Jade Legacy. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to just like settle for the paperback. Let's just move on, okay? We're just, whew, we're fine, we're moving on. So next I have Babel by R.F. Kuang. And this book, I don't own it, but it's 
quite possible that I could read it because my sister owns it and I'm planning to go visit her for Thanksgiving and I wanted to read Babel after I read the Poppy War trilogy and I'm about to finish the Poppy War trilogy so if I continue my plans as I have planned them I will read The Burning God in August and then when I go out in October I can borrow Babel from my sister and then I can read Babel and then I can off the list just you know, off the list. I'd love to I'd love to cross things off the list. So like that's the plan of action. Next on the list after Babel is the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Ooh, I actually I own this one as well. Hold on. The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. And I have read this book, so let's cross it off the list. I also got this as a Christmas gift, along with the second book, The Man Who Died Twice. This one I didn't put on my 23 books in 2023 list because this was like one of those series where I'm like, I kind of just want to read the first book and try it out and see if I like it. But then my family members saw that I put this on my Christmas wish list and then realized there was two books in the series and they bought me both. And luckily I actually really like this book. So I will be reading the second book, but not really anytime too soon. A series I put on hold again, because I have I have it in paperback and there's the third book, but the third book only exists in hardcover. Though it might have a paperback now. I haven't really been keeping up with that one, so I'm not 100% sure if like the paperback for the third book exists. The third one is like green, right? Like it's kind of cute little color scheme going on. I think there's now like a fourth book coming out at some point um, this year, perhaps. Perhaps. For what the topic of this video is, if we want to just, you know, leave that tangent behind, I have read The Thursday Murder Club, and that was the book that was on the list, so, lovely. Next, I have on the, here, book number 16, in case uh, you haven't been counting. I doubt you have been counting. I haven't been counting. But the 16th book I put on my 23 books in 2023 is The Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. This is another series that I wanted to try reading I haven't I think at this point I hadn't read any contemporary romances and I was a little like weary about them they didn't the concepts of them didn't appeal too much to me but I did read the concept of the bromance book club and it sounded amusing and intriguing to me so I thought I'd put the first book in the series on my 23 books in 2023 and see if I like it and guess what I have read this and I did like it and I have actually now read the first three books in the series this year. Cross another one off the list. 17th on the list was Circe by Madeline Miller and this is a book that I do not own and I have not read and I currently don't have plans for reading because I forgot I put this on my list of as a book I wanted to read this year. I did read Song of Achilles. I own Song of Achilles. I'm looking at it on my bookshelf, but I don't want to get up and grab it because I feel like I've already gotten up to grab things enough today and um, I really want to do more of that. You have seen Song of Achilles by this point. You know what it looks like. But I have read Song of Achilles and that's why I put Cersei on this list, but I forgot that was an action and a choice that I had made. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But a book I did remember that I put on this list is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Look, I even have it ready to go because I actually remembered that I put this book on this list. And so I finally bought this book, again, in that lovely buy three books get the fourth free sale because it just justified me buying four books in one go for once. I'm kind of more of a like buy an individual book at a time kind of person. I don't know why I do that, but I very rarely buy like multiple books. I just don't tend to buy multiple books at a time. Possibly because books are just expensive in Canada. Tell me why books are being so expensive here. I don't like it. Anyway, back to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, by the way, um, in case you can't, can't read that right here. But yeah, I am jumping on the bandwagon of Taylor Jenkins Reid extremely late. But this is a book that is also on my summer TV. Why am I holding the book like this? That's such a, I don't know why I was holding the book like that. That's so weird. But I did also put this book on my summer TBR. So I will be reading it soon, possibly next. I, this might be like my first book in August because I feel like that could be fun. That could be a beginning of August 
experience for me. Oh my god, I've never told you this, but this has been like the event of my life for the past like two weeks, is that I ordered a chair for my balcony and it looks like it's gonna be so cozy and like so perfect to like just get all cozy in and read a book. It's supposed to be arriving on Monday and I'm so excited. And that means that like at the beginning of August, because Monday is the end of July. So at the beginning of August, I will have this chair like in my possession, like I'll have to build it, but I will have the chair. And that means then I can read in the chair. And then I think this would be a good book to be like the first book I read in my chair. I will be reading this book, have not read it yet, but I own it. And that's a really good first step for me because there's a lot of books on here that I just don't own. But I will be reading this. I'm excited for it. I've heard such good things. And I also think it's just a gorgeous book. Fingers crossed that I'm a Taylor Jenkins read girly because like that's like who I want to be. Like I, I, I want to be someone who loves Taylor Jenkins read books, but I haven't read any, so I don't know if that's me or not. The next book I put on my 23 books in 2023 list is Notes on an Execution by Danya Kukovka. I have not read this book. I also forgot I put this book on this list, but I'm now remembering why I put it on this list because every time I've seen anybody mention this book or have read this book, they said it's amazing. So I want to read it. And I feel like it's kind of something that I don't often read, like genre wise, it's not really something I gravitate towards. And I would like to kind of like branch out my reading more. I do tend to read like a lot of fantasy especially, and I would like to read some more things that are not fantasy. One, to like just have a broader extent and genres and topics and types of books that I've read on my shelves, that I know about, that I'm aware of, that I've, you know, like all of those lovely things to be like well read and well versed and well knowledgeable. Wait, well knowledgeable is just definitely not a term. <laughs> Clearly I'm not well knowledgeable. But yeah, so I feel like that could be a very like switch it up, good read. The last four books that I put on this list were classics. As I said before, I knew I put classics on this list and I also know I haven't read any classics yet this year, but I also feel like I personally am in the mood to read classics more when it is fall. Cause I feel like I link fall with like school, school, academics, academics, classics, literature, you know, I feel like I feel like there's 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 links there, you know? Perhaps I will read some of these in like September, October, November time and I'll put some of them on my fall TBR, but I don't think I'm gonna be reading all of them potentially, just because classics are something that I do enjoy when I read them, but I really need to be like in the mood to read a classic because they do just take some more mental energy to read personally than something modern, but Let's just like talk about the books that were on the list. Heads up, spoiler, I haven't read any of them. We have Dracula by Bram Stoker. We have Emma by Jane Austen. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde and Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. I definitely would still like to read. I think Dracula is pretty high up on that list of what I want to read. And then I think also Emma because I've read Pride and Prejudice and I've liked it and I've heard a lot of people say Emma is really good. So I feel like those out of the four are probably the two I'm most likely to read this year. You never know, maybe I will read all of them. Maybe I'll read none of them. I clearly at this point fully believe I'm not gonna be achieving my goals for these 23 books in 2023, just because I think my, my goals have changed a lot since I've made this list. <laughs> you know, at the end of the year again, we'll have a little check-in and see if I've accomplished more of this. But for the moment, I have only have read five of the 23 books that are on this list. I do have active plans, right? Like in August, I will be reading The Burning God. I will be reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So, you know, then I'll be at seven. I'm planning on reading Babel because I'm gonna be borrowing it from my sister in October. And I am also planning on reading The Hawthorne Legacy and Final Gambit. I might get up to 10. We only have five of them done. We have plans for some more. If I end the year having read 10, I think I'll be happy. It would be nice if I have read more like 12 or 13, so I can at least say that I've read like over half <laughs> of what I put on the list. But for that, we'll have to wait 
until December and the end of the year when I make that final video to see if I read the 23 books. So with that, you know, I'm gonna end the video here. If you like it, make sure to give it a like. If you happen to like me, consider subscribing. I'd be happy to have you. Did you make a 23 books in 2023 list? How's that going for you? I hope it's going better for you than it's going for me because I'm not having a great time. <laughs> I'm not doing wonderful with it, but maybe you're doing better. Let me know. For now, I'm going to say goodbye. I am planning on going down on the treadmill today and reading while walking on the treadmill. I just like feel my most productive when I'm doing that because it's like the it's like the epitome of multitasking in my mind. I, I feel like I'm gonna do that so I can feel better about myself because like this list is not making me feel great. And with that, I will see you in the next one. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Bye-bye.